Well, we are here to celebrate the centennial year. It's the last official event of the centennial. And today we will be burying the centennial time capsule and also uh, dedicating the plaque for the centennial rose. When are they going to open it, do you know? They're going to open it in 100 years. So oh, 2114. Can't, can't wait. Be open. <laughs> I can't wait either. I'm going to ride my bicycle here and open it up. <laughs> I think in our event, I think what we said, I took 33,000 images in the coverage for our mosaic and in that I think there had to be 40 to 50 different events that I covered in all different kinds of ways. This was kind of like the beginning of the city too because the Beverly Hills Hotel was the start of the city and so uh, and Margaret Anderson who started that actually gave this park to the city. So this is really at the center of what was the start of Beverly Hills. Very fitting that we would uh, well, this is going to be the dedication or the last ceremonial event associated with the city centennial celebrations. And we're going to put in a time capsule to be opened on this date or thereabouts, 100 years from now, in 2114. We are now actually going to be, once again, a part of history. Right now, today. I mean, this past year was truly a magical year. And we are so lucky that we were all a part of our 100th birthday, our 100th anniversary for our city that we love so much. So to actually be here today to put a time capsule that in 100 years from now we're all going to walk and be here or take our Harley Davidsons or ride our bicycles and be here in 100 years to open the time capsule together. But when you think back on this incredible year, it was truly magical, wasn't it? Right, Phil? Thank you for really chronicling it for all of us. Nancy, I would love for you to share who else with you made this happen, and if you could also tell everybody some of the wonderful items that are in the time capsule. Let me just share with you a few things that went in. I won't read the whole list because we'd be here all day. So kicking it off was our mayor. She uh, gave to us a tank top that had the hashtag BH Healthy City on it to commemorate the Monday walks, right? Um, former Mayor Jimmy Delshad gave us a newspaper clipping from the career that is included. There was strangely a Beverly Hills Library uh, centennial card that got in there somehow. I'm not quite sure how. The police department put a, a department photo. Um, the Centennial Tree Planting and Rosebush Committee put in the postcard invite for the Centennial Roses. Uh, Brenda and Zale Richard Rubens, where are you? I know you're here. Uh, put in a wonderful photograph. Uh, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Robert Anderson provided us with a copy of his book that we put into the uh, capsule as well. Uh, the groundbreaking of the Lily Pond, the Roxbury Grand Opening Program, the Time Capsule Dedication Program for today, our local newspapers, the Courier, the Weekly, the H Heritage, um, the Week, I said the Weekly, the Friends of Greystone, the Friends of the Library. It goes on and on and on. Thank you so much to all of you who participated and provided us with such warm and rich and colorful items that will recognize uh, what life was like here in Beverly Hills in 2014. Thank you. And now, as they say on such a beautiful day, you have to stop and smell the roses. And these beautiful roses are due to our incredible Kathy Rothner. Kathy? I'm Kathy Rothner. The beautiful blooming garden you see here in Will Rogers Park features over 160 Floribunda rose varieties, which was created and donated to our city by Dr. Keith Zeri. This is a photograph of right here where you're sitting now. You, on your left is the uh, fountain under construction as they're completing the construction of the Beverly Hills Hotel in 1911. My great-grandmother, Margaret Anderson, a single woman with two children, built that hotel. She gifted this park to the city of Beverly Hills in 1915. One of the main things that really impressed me was our completion of the lily pond. And this is something that's gonna stand the test of time. And I'm glad to have been a part of it, and I'm glad to have seen it completed. And I want to mention Steve Gordon, who's been a major component of this whole restoration of the city of Beverly Hills. I'd also like to mention Phil Slavnik, who, who did the 100 stories, 100, 100 people here in Beverly Hills. That will stand the test of time, that in 100 years, they can look back and see 
how crazy we really are or were in my in my book flash drive because this is too big to go into the time capsule this will stand the test of time and uh and Richard back there taking photographs of all of us. Richard, thank you. And he was my primary photographer on my book. And uh, Mark Wanamaker is also here, also here, another historian. And on that closing note, I want to thank everybody who came here today. And would you come over here to where we're going to place the time capsule so we can all have a group shot over here. Excuse me, if you're on the far left, you're not going to be in the picture. So you'll have to move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, big smiles, looking forward. We need you to hold those poses. Victoria, what? you're the only one who's that's not facing us. All right, everybody.